You ever think about the road not travel? Because I know I do. What if I had Pepsi instead of Coke, salad instead of soup? In other words, what are the things that could have been, or what almost was? By now, I'm sure you've seen my Green Lantern review, and hey, if you haven't, by all means, go check it out. I mean, all the cool kids are doing it after all. But did you know that there was almost a Jack Black Green Lantern movie? I'm 100% serious. Robert Smigel, the guy behind Triumph the Insult Comic Dog, he was going to write it. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have been that great, and yeah, it would have had almost nothing to do with Green Lantern. But hey, unlike the Ryan Reynolds movie, it might have been memorable. Oh, wait, I got a better one. You know how Tim Burton made two really fun Batman movies? Well, Warner Brothers thought that it would be a great idea if he directed a Superman movie too. Kevin Silent Bob Smith actually wrote a script for it. And who did they almost get to star in this? None other than crazy old Nicolas Cage. Don't believe me? Take a look at this. Drink this image in. Let it wash over you. Let it really get into your gray matter. And think about it for a second. Nicolas Cage was this close to becoming Superman. Now, thankfully, sanity prevailed, and neither of these projects were actually made. But as crazy as those two are, they don't even begin to hold a candle to this next one. Chances are, if you grew up the same time as me, you've seen Batman Beyond. After the smash success that was Batman the Animated Series, the creators were given a simple mandate. Create a new Batman show, one that would relate to a younger, hipper audience. The show they eventually came up with was, of course, Batman Beyond, and the world was a better place for it. But, oh my god, look at the show we almost got instead. No, I'm afraid your eyes aren't deceiving you. This is actual concept art for a show called Gotham High, a show that would be a high school reimagining of the entire Batman universe. The whole thing looks like an unholy union between Smallville and that show Detention. How the hell would a show like this have worked? I remember when I first saw this image, my mind just exploded with questions. Would Bruce Wayne's parents still be alive? Or would he be taken care of by a younger, hipper Alfred? What would an average episode of this show look like? Would older characters like Commissioner Gordon and Rachel Ghoul be like college seniors? What? What does it look like Bruce Wayne is in a love triangle with Barbara Gordon? Isn't she supposed to be younger than him? What the hell? Look at all the art they did for this show. They really considered making this. How utterly insane is that? And you know what? The funny thing is some of this art actually looks pretty good. Like they put a lot of time, effort, and thought into it. Now, I'm not saying they should have made this into a real thing, but out of a weird, morbid curiosity, I wish they did something with it. Make an Elseworlds story about it, or at least a Mad Hatter hallucination, something. And you know, this kind of thing I'm talking about extends beyond just superhero stuff, too. Did you know Steven Spielberg originally wanted to make Harry Potter into a movie? Only his movie would have been animated, and Haley Joel Osment would have played Harry. Thankfully, this never happened, which meant we didn't have to sit through seven movies of Americans trying to do bad English accents, don't you know? Some of my favorite all-time movies would have been way different if what was meant to happen actually happened. Did you know Samuel L. Jackson wasn't supposed to play Jules in Pulp Fiction? Nah, it was actually supposed to be the bartender, if you can believe that. Jackson had to audition twice to secure the role for himself. And what about Harrison Ford as Han Solo? Did you know they had originally considered Nick Nolte? What a different movie that would have been if you had crazy old Nick Nolte in there. So I guess that's this theater tale on things that never happened, stories that were never told, and crazy out there stuff that almost was. Do you have a similar story of the road not travel? If so, feel free to share. Until then, thank you and grouch out.